Do you believe in rebirth? Around us lie the peeling and vacant remains of what used to be one of the most magnificent thermal baths in Europe. This architectural jewel was designed by a star architect, but abandoned by the French community that built it. Countless mosaic decorations are reminiscent of its splendid past. In its prime, this was a major attraction for the wealthy. Once bustling with people, it's now empty and lifeless. An eerie and forlorn atmosphere is haunting us. At this point, visitors are unwanted. Follow us on a forbidden tour inside this forgotten landmark. And acknowledge that transience will eventually rule everything. Only when we embrace the finiteness of our existence can we find a truthful approach to life. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications if you want to see more of the abandoned world around us. We have many more videos to come. On a mild winter day, we are approaching this grand building from an unseen angle. Searching for a way inside, we are on top of old baths now. But we are unsettled. From the outside, we noticed that there were lamps on in some of the rooms. Are we alone? <laughs> While Toby and I look around, we are very cautious. Explorers before us trigger the alarms. We want to avoid this kind of attention. As it happens, there were no lamps turned on inside. It was just sunlight shining through a skylight and some stained glass windows. We're here all by ourselves, probably. Pass auf hier mit. Ich auf diese Platte. Die macht Krach. Hey, die kenn ich mehr. Auf was? In front of us lays the splendid entrance hall. It's the most beautifully decorated part of this building, but this is also where other explorers have set off the alarm. The fancy vault is almost 10 meters high, ornately decorated with elements looking like the honeycombs of a beehive. It's supported by red marble columns. Too bad we can't go down there. Let's explore the other parts then.
This complex was built at the beginning of the 20th century and was designed by a renowned French architect. He wanted to integrate countless skylights and stained glass windows, so natural light would shine inside. And you probably notice these ceramic decorations too. There are a number of mosaics made with colorful tiles. Ancient and Romanesque architecture have been mixed together, so you'll see these arches and capitals with playful details everywhere. Unfortunately, many of the doors remain closed for us. No. Like the entrance to the recreation room. <laughs> the sections that are open to us usually still have the original equipment from back then. On the upper floor, which we are still exploring, lie most of the former treatment rooms, for massages, for example. Small lamps showed whether a space was occupied or free. For the larger and more nicely designed baths, however, we need to go downstairs. Toby shot all the photos we feature in this video. See more of these urbex images on his Instagram page, Toby Urbex. Make sure to leave some nice comments there. Down here, the traces of time are much more prominent. Strong moist air accelerates the inevitable decay. A flood also damaged the lower floor. For 100 years, the spa was open to the public, before it was closed in the early 2000s. This used to be a luxury spa, nestled in the heart of a historic thermal city. Since time immemorial, the surrounding area has been marked by volcanic soil and pure nature. The discovery of hot springs turned the village into a tourist town, with casinos, villas, magnificent architecture and many spas. This quickly became a center of attraction for rich folks, including those from Africa, Asia and the Americas. The water underground is said to be among the richest in magnesium in the entire world. In this facility, diseases related to the digestive and urinary tract, as well as rheumatological complaints, 
were treated with that healing water. For two decades now, this building has been steadily falling into disrepair. It was replaced by a much more modern facility. This was just too expensive to maintain. Today, it's the property of the municipality and they're lacking funds. So it remains a listed landmark, awaiting a costly rebirth. Ideas for converting this into a luxury hotel have been circulating for years. But to date, this multi-million euro project hasn't been kicked off. Maybe because the building materials are much more rotten than they thought. In some places, the grand structure is in danger of collapse. But from this comes another, completely contrasting chance for the community. And for that, this place just needs to stay the way it is. As strange as it sounds, maybe they should let this be a rune for rune's sake. The power of these sites resides in the feelings they evoke. While exploring abandoned structures, you soon realize that everything will decay and vanish. By accepting your own finite existence and the futility of the idea to leave behind a legacy, you can see what truly is important. Spending this short time span of your existence in the best way possible. If you want to explore the abandoned spa yourself, chances are you can. Our latest info is that there are legal tours again. Please don't break in though. Trespassing can be severely punished in France. Also, don't miss out on our next video. In three weeks, we will post a very special one. See you then, stay curious and keep exploring.